the mother one plus two fan translation. You won't see me booting this one up very often. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? That's not me knocking the translation, by the way. Tomato and uh, the others did a fantastic job. It's just that Mother 1 plus 2 is the complete inferior way to play Earthbound. Do not play Earthbound this way. This version sucks. But we're not even playing Earthbound today, believe it or not. I can't believe it either. We're playing Mother. Mother 1, uh, otherwise known as uh, Earthbound uh, zero by some Earthbound Beginnings. I think I'm just gonna call the series Earthbound Beginnings because that's the canonical name uh, in the US, the official name. So I think I'm just gonna go with that. I've never beaten um, Earthbound Beginnings before. Um, I've played the beginning a few times and uh, I've lost interest part way in, but I've never completed it. So I do want to attempt to finish the game this time. There's a couple other things I want to go over, but, uh, let's start. Oh my goodness. Man, you know, listen, uh, okay, the, the, uh, the music sounds okay with this. It really screws up Earthbound's music. There's a couple of other things I want to go over uh, with this series because it's going to differ from my Earthbound playthrough a bit. I'm going to make episodes shorter because though Earthbound, I am happy I went with longer episodes for it. I wish it could have gone on a little longer, so I am going to shorten the episodes about to about 20 minutes. Also, I'm going to be going, I'm going to be using a walkthrough for this because I have no idea how to beat this game. And uh, if I don't, believe me, I will get lost. So. You'll see me struggle, and we are going to, uh, we're going to struggle through together. I know a lot of, uh, Earthbound fans have not completed this game or even played it because it's so different, but I want to finish it. It's the only Mother game I haven't beaten. I've beaten the other two several times, and, uh, I want to let this join the club. So, I am going to go with the canonical names, so that means... His name is Ninten. I guess that's kind of the canonical name. I guess technically it's Ken because of the novelization, but I, I don't think a toy really had much of a part in that, so. Oh, wow, that was convenient. Okay, her name's Anna. His name is Lloyd. Um, okay, yeah, that's the canonical spelling. It was L-O-I-D for a long time, just because it was romanized as, uh, as Lloyd, L-O-I-D, uh, because his name was Royd in uh, the Japanese version. So, there you have it. Teddy, good. What's your favorite food? I thought the answer to this was steak for the longest time, but apparently it's, uh... Oh, I thought it was pri- it's pr I Okay, so I read it was prime ribs, but it that won't fit here. So I'm gonna go with the meme answer and say Oreos, because let me tell you, that's the meme answer, even though I don't understand it at all. There we have it. Nintendo loves Oreos. Ha <laughs> ha! How funny. Let's uh, let's begin. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow fell over a rural town in America. Shortly after, a married couple mysteriously vanished. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, George returned home, but never told anyone where he had been or what he had done. Instead, he deeply immersed himself in strange research. As for his wife, Maria, she never returned. Nineteen eighty-eight. Outside of the town of Mother's Day. What? Oh. The town of Mother's Day. I always thought it was Podunk, but okay. In this present is the easy ring, which is something Tomato put in very cautiously and very uh, thoughtfully, I will say. But I do not want to use it. It basically just makes the game easier. You get more XP from... Uh, enemies and uh, stuff 
it's the easy ring and I know a lot of people use it. It might even be the better way to experience this game, but I want to experience this game for the first time the way it was intended to be. I'll do another run with the easy uh, ring at some point if I feel like it, but yeah. Welcome. Let's uh, check out our stuff. Who are you talking to? No problem here. And Nintendo has telepathy to begin. Uh, begin. Not something that you had to use PSI to do in Earthbound. I, that's something that's different right away. You could just talk to animals and stuff immediately. ATM card. Um, oh, eat. Please don't do that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, what else can I do? Oh, gosh. Could you actually drop your ATM card? I'm not going to try it. Use this to access your your bank account and make deposits or withdrawals. Okay. Yeah. No problem here. Okay. Hmm. You say that. But now, the lamps attack. Woo. Poltergeist in the house. Configure the options. I'll do that after. Um, I think the... I think the strategy for this one, this battle, is to just attack. Oh! Smash attack on our first try. Yeah. Yeah, th that's a good omen for this. Oh, hell yeah. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? Okay. The game starts with Nintendo's room. Before you do anything else, you can press A to open the command menu. Choose setup and you can set some options. Oh. Isn't this a thrilling adventure so far? Uh, so, those are the stats. What's... This location is not on the map. Okay, I guess there's no options. <laughs> so, I defeated the lamp. And, uh, now it's saying to defeat the doll. So, let's try... Good lord. Get over here. I think this is the only instance, or one of the few instances of actually seeing and walking into the enemies you fight, because this game is random encounters. This game is... Oh! Smash attack again. Guys, we stay winning. It's so... Uh, it's really exciting to actually finally going to be completing this game. Also, uh, I want to make note that... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to update the series daily like I did for Earthbound, but I will complete it. Brother, it's like all our house is about to fall apart. Wah! That's right, Nintendo has two... Oh, get, what... Good. Okay, there you go. So that's how you do it. I was trying to figure out how to run because I know you can. Good lord, that is annoying. Help! Nintendo has two, uh, goodness. Nint Nintendo has two, uh, siblings. Uh, meaning he's the earthbound character, the mother character with the most, uh, the most family members. Also, this doll is freaking hilarious looking. Can I check it? Nintendo check the doll. Offense four, uh, defense five. It glares at you from far. Maybe that wasn't a great idea. Oh well, one damage. That's not bad at all. Okay. I like the sound effects. Not quite as good as Earthbound's, obviously. But oh, that's not fair. It's only fair when I do it. Uh, even though Earthbound and Mother Three definitely have better sound effects because they have the advantage of, you know, future technology and such. I like these. I also like the music in this game. It's not something I hear get praised enough. You know, you always hear eight melodies getting pr crazy praise and stuff, but oh, hell yeah. Uh, you always get hear eight melodies getting praised and stuff in Pollyanna, but this game has quite a bit of good music to offer. Fight went up by two, okay. Speed went up by three. Wisdom went up by three. Strength went up by two. Force went up by three. I don't know what the difference between force and strength are. Max HP up by one. Okay. The mysterious phenomenon has stopped. For now. Woo, that was scary. Oh, I think I see something inside the doll. There's an old music box hidden inside the doll. Nintendo opened the music box. A broken melody played. Nintendo learned the melody. All right. See, so guys, we're making even quicker progress than we did in the Earthbound playthrough because we already have one of the melodies. Here's some juice, big brother. You, you must be plenty, pretty thirsty. And you can get orange juice from her, I believe. 
orange juice, some OJ. Some, some OJ. Uh, and I think you can just keep talking to her and she'll keep giving you more, yeah. I'm not gonna fill up my uh, stuff with that, but you know. Nice to know you can. Are you okay, Ninten? What on earth is happening to our home? I'm so scared. If only your father were here now. Oh, the phone. Could you get it, Ninten? Ninten picked up the telephone. Ninten, it's your dad. Hmm, I see. Sounds like there must be a poltergeist of some sort. I'm not sure what to do about it either. But your great-grandfather did study PSI at one point. I'll be referring to this as PK. Perhaps there's something in the basement that could help make sense of things. I know I put the basement key somewhere, but I can't remember where. Anyways, your only hope. Now is the time for an adventure. Go forth, Nintendo. Protect us all. Click. Beep. Okay. So we can get infinite juice from our sister. So that's neat. And, uh, yeah. Now, uh... I'm actually gonna pick up the telephone right away again and call Dad just so that we can save. Wow, this... It's so interesting. This is like, uh... Word for word, this dialogue from... It was redone in Earthbound. You know, a lot of people just say Earthbound is a... A remake of... Earthbound Beginnings, but better. And I would kind of agree. I would just say it's more of a reimagining than a straight-up remake. So now we're out here. Very nice. This says, before you go outside, be sure to get orange juice from your sisters, uh, but leave one space open in your inventory. You will not be able to get orange juice from your si sisters after you go outside. Oh, well, I guess that's the cutoff point for that. Also, awesome song. I do know you have to go to the dog. You understand animal talk, right? Then I'll give you a hint. Try checking me. Whoop. A key to the basement is hanging from the dog's collar. And Ten took the basement key. Anything here? Oh, you can walk right on it. I wasn't expecting that. No. Oh, what are you doing down here? I'm Minnie. Can I help you? Oh, what? I. Uh, it's kind of weird you introduced yourself. So let's use that basement key here. Found great grandfather's diary. Cracked bats. And something I like about this game is that if you just go to the item and use it, you equip it right away. Just saying very okay. Rat suddenly attacked. Very nice. <laughs> uh, just because it's a little bit of extra XP that we are very much going to be needing. Uh, let's just keep bashing it, I guess. Oh, another smash deck. Ten, da ten damage. Wow. Now, this says the upper gift contains a plastic bag, so... Bat, so I guess this isn't... Okay, no. Found bread. Oh, okay, cool. I think running increases the chance of wild encounters. You're much braver than I ever imagined. But I can't send you on a journey so famished. I'll make you some Oreos, Ninten. Eat some and scoot up to bed. That's lovely. Homemade Oreos, are those a thing? Oh, and you don't even have to walk all the way back down. That's actually kind of convenient. I like that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, so. The gift on the left contains bread. You can eat this to recover HP, or you can choose use from the goods menu, and you will start leaving breadcrumbs in a trail. Then if you use the crumbs, you'll be able to transfer it back to the place where you first created the crumbs. That's awesome to know. Next it says, go to town. So let's uh, go to town, I guess. Oh, this is lovely. I love this song. Nintendo's house. Oh, I guess we're I guess we're homeowners. Nintend confirmed homeowner, guys. Oh, come on. How do I run? There we go. Gonna have to get used to that. And uh, here we are in the world. Is this like um, Adventures of Link rules, where if you run on the road, you won't get random encounters? Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. My dear Pippi's gotten lost. If you're going into town, please tell her the, tell the mayor for me, okay? Sniffle, sniffle, sob, sob. Can I go in here? Guess not. 
So, is this Adventure of Link rules? Because, oh, it's not. The snake suddenly attacked, okay. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna refrain from using the auto fight option. I just feel like it's, oh goodness, what's, what just happened with my voice? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna refrain from using that just to make sure that I'm, you know, doing things on my own. Yeah, it's weird, the attacking sound kind of sounds like a... It sounds like a bit like, uh, like an item get sound. Just threw me. Welcome to Mother's Day. I guess they rename. I guess Tomato renamed Podunk to Mother's Day. Okay. Right. Okay, guess that, whatever. <sighs> Gonna have to get used to this. Did a poltergeist attack your house? It tore mine apart. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> get over here. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a meddlesome mouse. In towns, there are some houses that you can go in and some that you can't. Houses with round doors or signs on them are the ones that you can go into. If you try to go into any of the other ones, you'll just hit your head. Well, bye. Oh, wow. There's me not uh, turning off my phone before starting. Sorry. Anyway. Let's see how often that happens. Oh, come on. I'm gonna have to really get used to... <sighs> that was cringe. That was really cringe what I just did there. Did that right after <laughs> talking to the NPC. You didn't come from the cemetery to the south, did you? Please tell me you didn't. Okay, no, get out of my way. There must be something, con someone controlling the dead. Okay, well that's that's a bit of a jump in logic, but yeah, all right. Oh, redneck suddenly attacked. Okay, well I thought I was safe in town, but I guess not. Or did I leave town without realizing it? I didn't. I wasn't even aware of that. How much is that? Nine damage. Oh, shoot. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Beat him. Beat him. Beat him. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I am really playing it dangerous right now. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm doing this. That was really stupid of me. I can't believe I did that. Oh. Oh. I thought I... Okay. Life up alpha. Sweet. How much PP do I have? Five, okay. So I'm gonna stay over here for now, because I'm assuming that's the end of town over there. Okay, so can't use that. You can also enter rooms with uh, signs over them, so. Oh, I guess there's no. Oh my gosh, this, this menu system. No prop. <sighs> you looked at me. Animals have suddenly turned violent and the dead have come back as zombies to attack us. What are we supposed to do? I'm so scared I can hardly breathe. <laughs> Canary Village is north and west of here. Oh, you should definitely go visit it. Admission is free. Oh, you're telling me I can go to a city for free? With some people. The nerve. Get over here. It's nice that there's a machine on the first floor of the department store that lets you withdraw cash from your bank account, but you need a PTA card or something to use it. What's a PTA card? What is up with this translation? <laughs> I really admire the man living in Canary Village. Okay. <sighs> Get used to that. There's this really pretty secretary at the town hall. She was the first floor receptionist. Oh, let's check the department store. How do I check my money? Huh. I have no idea. Okay, well, I guess we'll just... Okay, well, there you have it. Oh my gosh. Am I really just gonna have to use my ATM card every time I do this? We'll withdraw the 80. Drugs. Sporting goods, that's probably where we need to go. Cracked bat, 80. Oh, T-ball bat is expensive. Man, that is way more than we have right now. <laughs> that's a little more personality. Foods, and up here is pet. Nope. I'm almost certain that something is controlling all the animals. 
As you can see, all of our animals have escaped. All we have left is this canary chick. Interested in buying it? No. Yeah, I don't blame you. It doesn't even know any songs. What happens if I say yes? How much is it? And how about $85? No. How about for free then? Come on. <laughs> I wonder if he can, if you'll actually buy it for $80 if you say yes to that. Um, okay. Well, uh, we made it to the first town in the game, so I think this is a pretty good ending off point. Next time, we're going to figure out what to do here. And I think off screen, I'm going to train a little bit just to make enough money to get that T-ball bat. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.